Hi everybody, I'm David with Bolivar Live. I'm here with Captain McGaffey from the Galveston County Sheriff's Department. And you know, thanks for joining us. I know it was a trip over here, but I know there's a reason why you come over here. Tell everyone why you really come over here. Stingray restaurant. <laughs> That's where we're going afterwards. There's been a lot of talk about they passed the new laws with the golf carts. And you know, with social media, a rumor here, a rumor there, and people don't actually read what the law is. And that's what we're here for today, is to let you know exactly what you have to have on this golf cart in order to be legal, who can drive it, where you can drive it, and UTVs, where you can drive them, and what you have to have for them. Give us a rundown on golf carts. From what I really saw, nothing really changed other than June of last year it did change because prior to that the way the law was interpreted you could not ride the golf carts anywhere okay last year when it went to uh, legislation mm -hmm. uh, Mays Middleton got the part passed because there are certain counties that allow the golf carts Galveston County was not one of them so when he went to when they went in he got it approved where Galveston County was included in that. In the golf carts. In the golf carts. The OHVs, he tried to have the OHVs in there as well. They did not make it. The only thing that made it in was the golf carts. So June of last year, it was passed. Then it went to commissioner's court. Commissioner's court signed off on it. So June of last year became effective where they could drive the golf carts anywhere where the speed limit is 35 miles an hour or under. You have to have a driver's license, insurance, tail lights, headlight, and a parking brake. Okay. And the license plate as well to operate the golf cart anywhere on the roadways. And open container does pertain to yes, yes. golf carts. It, so. is a, it is a moving vehicle, a motor vehicle, so yes, it does pertain to the golf carts. It pertains to the OHVs on the beach. Uh, any Anything you're driving on the beach pertains to the open container. Now, if someone's on the golf cart and they're sitting in the passenger seat, they have a license, everything's legal, but they're letting their granddaughter drive. Is that legal? No, that's not, that is illegal. Okay. Now, if granddaughter has a permit, because basically the, the driver's license is the same thing for these as it is for a regular vehicle. Okay. If they've got a permit and someone 21 years or older sitting in the front seat, they can drive the golf cart. They can drive. If they don't have a permit or anything, they cannot drive it. Okay. And as far as where you can drive them, you can drive them in the subdivisions. Yes. You can't drive them down the highway, but you can cross the highway, but where? Is there any, you know, does it have to be a light or anything? It does not have to be a light. It has to be uh, straight across. I prefer lights because it's controlled and the right. traffic gets crazy over here. And what a lot of people think is that they'll get out here on 87 and they'll drive in the grass down 87 where I'm not on the highway. Well, yes, the highway goes from telephone pole to telephone pole, so they are in violation, and it is against the law to be in the grass. You can't ride anywhere parallel to 87. What about driving at night? Can you drive at night as long as you have headlights and taillights? Yes. As long as it's not reckless or anything? Right, right. Okay. <laughs> So reckless driving on the beach, that's just like a vehicle. You doing a donut in a golf cart, that's just like doing a donut you on the same citation, same you citation being in the car. Being in the car. Now what about UTVs? You know, there's been a big question on what they can do and more or less it's cut and dry now on where a UTV can be driven and can't be driven. It can only be driven on the beach. It cannot be driven on any roadways at all. Even if you've got the OHV tag, that does not allow you to be driven on a roadway. Now, this is a state law, but there's different counties and different cities that adopt different things. Galveston County is not one of them. Okay. And in the flyers that we're putting out, there's a section that shows that Galveston County, we don't, that's not part of what we're doing. Right. All we're dealing with is the golf carts that are allowed to be driven on the roadways. The OHVs cannot. They can be driven on the beach. Same thing, driver's license, open container, all the traffic laws that apply on 87 apply on, on the beach out here. On the beach. So if you're bringing a UTV down, just plan on trailering it from wherever you're staying to the beach 
once you get on the beach, you can back it off and we've got 27 miles of beach down here you can enjoy. But you can't, even if it's a block to the beach, you can get a ticket or a half block or maybe front row, you can still get a ticket on your UTV if a police officer sees you driving it on a public road. Anything that's public road um, on the north sides of the dunes, I guess you could just yes. about say. So. And actually I got a phone call this week. Somebody was asking, I'm, I'm on the front road and I'm facing the beach. Well, don't go over the dunes because the dunes are a protected area. Right. They said, we won't drive it on the road. We'll go over, over the thing. I said, you can't. It's a protected area. And what I try to explain to people, I get what they're looking at. You got the first house, it's right there on the beach. But I, I call it the domino effect. If I let that person drive, then the house next to them, well, I'm just one house further, why can't I? And right. then it gets bad, so there are signs posted when you come up off the beach, there are signs posted, no OHVs past this point. Anything past that point, you will receive a citation. And that includes rangers, that includes razors, four-wheelers, three-wheelers, anything that's motorized for off-road use, yes. more or less, is, is covered under that. Well, there you have it. They're gonna start in, uh, enforcing um, the, the rules and laws and regulations now. Uh, please, make sure you have a license plate. You get those through the Galveston County Tax, Assessor. Tax Assessor's Office. The triangle, the stoplights and headlights. You, do you have to have a horn on them? That I can't remember. I'll, ha I'll look it up do, and we'll let I can't you know. remember that one. <laughs> um, enjoy your time down here. You know, golf carts are major transportation. And a lot of people, when they come down and visit the area, they park their car and it never sees the beach because they've got trailers or they've got a fold down seat in the back. And that's great. You can go out to eat dinner. You can go out to eat lunch. You can shop at the big store, get your br morning breakfast at, at uh, Danae's Donuts but please don't drive down the highway. And I'm on the highway all the time and see a lot of it. They are gonna start issuing tickets and we wanna make a safe environment down here for all our visitors. Cause all it takes is one golf cart to get hit, a car swerves and an incoming uh, car has a problem. So thank you for joining us and getting the record straight. Um, we'll be back a little bit later with more information as needed on the golf cart and UTVs. Until next time, I'm David with Bolivar Live. Y'all have a great day, great week. Come see us. God bless. Rent your golf cart from Crystal Beach Golf Cart Rentals. God bless and bye-bye.